Hello and welcome to What Is Wednesday. Today we are covering Warcraft. Now, this is going to cover the video games, there's a movie coming out, Warcraft is everywhere and it's one of the biggest, the biggest video game to ever come out. So now let's get into the history and answer the question, what is Warcraft? In 1994, Blizzard Entertainment released a game for computers called Warcraft Orcs and Humans. At this time, computer games were still kind of a new venture and Warcraft helped to popularize the genre of real-time strategy games. It focused on starting with relatively few units, building up your home base, and then building and upgrading new units. You could choose to play the game as either human or orc characters, each having a distinct campaign to play through. While the first game was good, the sequel, Warcraft 2, arrived just a year later in 1995 and won a huge amount of awards that year. It did everything better than the original. The focus on the multiplayer platform called Battle.net made multiplayer gaming possible and easy for newcomers to embrace. The second game was supported for quite a while, with expansions and add-ons. In 2002, though, a third official entry into the franchise came, called Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. This game shook things up by expanding on the roster of playable races and adding both the undead and the night elves. It also received much acclaim and won many Game of the Year awards. Just two years later, things would change forever for the Warcraft franchise with the introduction of World of Warcraft. At this time, the phrase Massive Multiplayer Online, or MMO, was relatively unheard of among mainstream audiences, but this game changed all that. The game was widely accepted and acclaimed, praised for its addictive nature. Even though the game launched in 2004, it is still being played, with new expansions still being created by Blizzard. In terms of numbers, over 100 million new accounts have been created for the game, and it's made over $10 billion since its creation. It's the highest grossing video game of all time. This game had millions of players at one time, so its fictional hub cities were jam-packed full of people. An interesting phenomenon happened in 2005 when the game launched a villain to fight that caused their characters to get a fake disease, and they would lose health and potentially die. This fake virus spread so quickly that it actually left the confines of that specific area and traveled to the big hub cities where everyone congregated. Almost everyone in the game was exposed to it, and lower-level characters were being killed almost instantly. Actual experts in this field look back at this incident and use it as a simulation for how real viruses might spread. Anti-terrorism experts look back at this event also as an example of how quickly technological viruses could spread, and how people in the game intentionally spreading the disease might mimic terrorists and how they choose locations for attacks. A more humorous effect of World of Warcraft was a character called Leroy Jenkins. This is a video that went viral at the time, which showed a group of players planning an attack, but one character was away from the keyboard. So when his character returned, he shouted his character's name, Leroy Jenkins, and charged into battle. Oh, that's a lot better than we usually do. Uh, All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys? Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Leroy Jenkins is often now used as a battle cry when charging headfirst into danger. It went so viral that it was even used as a question on Jeopardy. This role-playing game out in 2004 returns to the world of Azeroth, where heroes like Leroy Jenkins do battle. And that would be the World of Warcraft. While World of Warcraft's numbers are the lowest they've ever been now in 2015, they still have 5.6 million subscribers, which is still a hefty number. New expansions are still being released. Blizzard's most recent game in this franchise is Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft. Hearthstone is an online collectible card game, similar to games like Magic the Gathering. It's set in the same world as the other Warcraft games, so you'll see cards of familiar heroes and characters you've gotten to know and love. Hearthstone was a huge hit when it released, and as of this video, has over 40 million registered players. You can either play against computer-controlled opponents or play against other real players, either on PC or smartphones. It's free to play, but you can pay real money to purchase random card packs, which might include very powerful cards. There is now an annual world championship for Hearthstone in which the champion receives $100,000. Though many people know the name Warcraft, it's about to become much more well-known as the feature film is set to hit theaters in summer 2016. This movie utilizes performance capture technology similar to the new Planet of the Apes movies. 
even starring one of Ape's leads as the lead in this movie as well. It's also being marketed as an unbiased look at that war, featuring stories for both the men and the orcs, with neither side being seen as the bad guys. So those are the basics of Warcraft, where it came from, some highlights, and where it might be going. So that's it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this is educational and interesting. If there's other little corners of nerd culture that you want to learn about, make sure you let me know in the comments what you want to see us tackle next week. And we'll see you later. Yes, me lord. Okay. Right, right. Oh. Oh.